Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Excuse what I look like right now, I just woke up. Um, my voice probably sounds terrible. I have an appointment at 12 o'clock to go see the doctor. I'm getting over what I think was the flu. Um, I was super sick last week, like so sick that Chad and I didn't end up celebrating our anniversary yet. I mean, we spent like the day together and everything, but we like didn't go have a nice dinner, do anything. We had to postpone it all because I'm still getting over this. Um, I think it was a flu, but the only reason I'm going to the doctor at this point is because I'm feeling completely better other than this congestion that is in my chest that I can't get out. So hoping that the doctor can give me something to help me get that out of my system, but I've been like taking mucinex and drinking a lot of water. I had a waffle for breakfast. I was going to go work out this morning, but because of all this congestion and it being so much in my chest, I feel like I don't really belong in a gym right now and I don't really want to be out of breath while I'm like blowing my nose and stuff. It's just mm, not what I want. So I'm not gonna uh, work out today. I'm just gonna take the day off. Chad and I walked two miles yesterday. So it's not like I did nothing all weekend, but I'm gonna empty the dishwasher and then we are going to get dressed and ready for the day. doing a little get ready with me I just put my foundation on and I am in between colors right now because I have not tanned in a while but I also still want to look tan but I can't use like my normal foundation or then my face would be a different color so oh shh we are using these two <laughs> and mixing them I will edit out that disgusting cough anyways um gonna do my makeup if you hear noises outside chad and his dad are outside replacing some soffit i think it is um from some damage that we had from the hurricane so if you hear them out there that's what that is but anyways i wanted to tell you guys that i started um like i started playing disney dreamlight valley on my nintendo switch back when it first came out and I thought it was kind of cool, you know, but like I didn't really give it a chance. And then because I've been sick, um, I've been playing it because what the heck else are you going to do when you're sick? And I just want to say that game is really, really fun. And I'm not a Disney person at all. That's why I like couldn't really get into it at the beginning because I'm like, oh, Mickey Mouse and Goofy and like no offense to any Disney girlies out there who like, you know, I know a lot of people are obsessed with Disney and love to go to um, Disney you know, in Orlando and in California, like Disney World, Disneyland, all that stuff. I have just never been that girl. I just don't understand the hype. Um, and I still don't, but I really like this game and I think it's really relaxing. It's one of those like um, really calming games, kind of like Animal Crossing, but I just overplayed the hell out of Animal Crossing when it came out and got really, really tired of it. So I've been, you know, like taking a break almost from Switch games. I haven't really played my Switch much, but... <clears throat> since getting dreamlight valley i'm like oh wait actually i can use my switch again i'm like this is fun so i've been really into playing on the switch and i wanted to share that with you guys in case you too were on the fence about dreamlight valley um it actually reminds me a lot of animal crossing in the sense that you have like a home and you can decorate the place and there's lots of characters to talk to but it's way I don't even want to say it's better, but like the fact that there's like so many little challenges to unlock and to work on to me gives you more to do. Where is my bronzing stick? Um, <clears throat> I feel like I should share my stuff because a lot of times people ask because I usually don't like show what I'm using. So this is so dirty, <laughs> but I use the Rare Beauty um, uh, bronzing stick. That is what this is called. And I also use, well, I showed you my foundation and then I use the Hourglass Concealer. I'm trying to remember to like say the things as I use them. I feel like I'm going to go back to edit this and realize how horrible my voice sounds and then just decide not to post this, but maybe it won't be as bad like as it sounds to me, you know? By the time this video comes out, I think the announcement video of what I've been working on will already be live, so I feel like I can talk to you guys about this. Um, 
I don't necessarily want to do it right now, but why the heck not? So you already know if you've seen the other video, if you haven't, then watch that video first because this is not like an announcement video. I'm just talking about it at this point, but I am finishing up my um, coaching program and that's kind of like what I'm working on today because I really want to launch this month. Initially, when I was working on this back in um, like November, December, I was trying to launch um, February 1st, which obviously didn't happen but not just because I got sick but it had just taken longer than I had expected using hula bronzer the OG <coughs> oh I need some water why does it sound like they're trying to knock down my wall I don't know what they're doing out there I do not understand the mechanics of building a house. Do I want to do freckles today? I'm kind of feeling the fake freckles. Let's do fake freckles. Wait, do I really want to do fake freckles because you have an appointment? No, I don't really care. Let's just do them. That's what people think. I love how Chad's dad teaches him everything. Um, it's so great. His dad is like so handy and like knows so much. And so I always am been trying to encourage Chad to like learn as much as he can from his dad so that we can do things on our own like we don't have to hire someone to do things because they can do it themselves it's just like a really good skill to have oh i want to give you guys an update though since stopping birth control i can't believe i'm saying this i thought it would be a lot longer for me to have gotten my period but when i stopped birth control I stopped it at the end of my fake period, which is just, you know, your placebo week where you don't really take the pills, but like that's when you would have a period. And then I just didn't resume the new pack. So that first period was still a uh, birth control period. Like it wasn't natural. But I started tracking at the end of that in the Flow app, you know, so I put that period in the Flow app and then began the tracking process. Not expecting it to really be beneficial yet because it really doesn't start uh, knowing your body until you have your first natural period because that was a birth control period, you know? But nonetheless, still tracking it. It's still assuming 28 days later I'm going to have a period, right? Well, the first day comes that's supposed to be my period. I don't get my period. I'm like, whatever, you know, obviously. It's, sometimes when people stop taking birth control, it takes months before their period comes back. So I was like, whatever. Well, literally day two, I got my period. And for the first time in my life, I was like happy to have a period because I was like, oh my God, my body works. Like my body is naturally giving me a period right now. It was awesome. I like text Chad. I was like, oh my God, Chad, guess what? And he's like, what? And I was like, I got my period. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, this is my first natural period. Like this is a big deal. So I was so excited because I just uh, really am happy that like my body's getting back to normal and finally like. The fact that I got my period that first time tells me that like my body's just right back on track to normal. And before I ever started birth control pills, I was like clockwork, like literally clockwork. I knew my body very well and I was never late. I had a very like consistent period. I did have painful periods, but like at least I knew when it was coming. Um, so I'm just so excited that like my body is working normal how it should and I've been feeling so much happier and I'm like I think I mentioned this in my last video I don't know if this is because the uh, depression spells are finally wearing off or if I actually like needed to get off of birth control like de was the birth control causing the depression I don't know but it's weird having been off of it for as long as I have and just like so quickly starting to like feel normal again and like feel happy again like what maybe it was the birth control I don't know this is not a message for you to get off your birth control though because I will say that Chad and I are being very smart about it and we're tracking in the app because we're not ready to have a child yet but we wouldn't have done this if we weren't in a position to where if we did have a child like we could have a kid right now we don't want to but like if it happened you know that'd be okay which is why we're comfortable with me being off of it and us just tracking based on my um, cycle, you know, doing it naturally. So it's just been really great. Okay, I love doing these little freckles. Like it's so simple, but I just feel like they're so cute. Let's add a little blush. I'm literally holding this blush palette, so why not? Okay, I put fake lashes on. I get these on Amazon and they are the easiest things to apply ever, but, um, I will say like 
wearing eyelashes is a new thing for me because I used to not be able to apply them like I can't do the full ones like I bought these ones and I cut them because I can't I just can't stand the feeling of it but I put them underneath and it is so cool I learned it on TikTok highly recommend you guys try that method if you're someone that like always wants to wear false lashes but you can't because they're uncomfortable it it's like I don't even notice them. <coughs> I would also like to say that um, I'm going to put some brow gel in. I forgot what I was going to say. But I am putting some brow gel in just to make my brows look a little nicer. I have a freaking pimple right here. Guys, I feel like this is going to be so annoying to listen to because of the banging. I'm not even going to lie to you guys right now. It is three o'clock. I came in here this morning and started working on my computer and then all of a sudden it was time for me to go to my appointment, which I went to, and they're gonna give me some steroids, which is what I figured. And then they told me if I don't feel better by like middle end of this week to call the office and then they'll send in antibiotics because then it would be assumed that maybe it's bacterial. Um, <clears throat> but I've been coughing so much and I had a really bad headache, so I just have not felt like picking up my camera, honestly. But um, I'm feeling a little bit better right now. And I made a, a second cup of coffee, a little afternoon cup. And I am working on building out the coaching agreement form that just protects myself and the client from a legal standpoint. Got some salads for dinner. Chad's making, what is this? What meat is this? I forget. Sausage? Oh, it's Italian sausage. And we got some sauce in there and then we are making red lentil penne with it. Super easy dinner tonight because neither one of us really felt like cooking anything extensive. I was convinced that I was getting better and then over the course of today, I start feeling like crap again, which is why this morning I was like, oh, I'm doing good, and I was vlogging and everything, and then like I just didn't vlog much more. Good morning, guys. It is almost seven and I'm heating up this pan I'm gonna make pancakes I've literally been up since four this morning coughing so bad I just couldn't fall back asleep so I got up and came out here and I was playing on my Nintendo switch for a few hours playing Dreamlight Valley um, but I wanted to vlog because I want to show you guys the pancakes I'm making I'm weird I love Dunkin K cups but I hate Dunkin's regular coffee when you go to Dunkin Anyways, I'm doing the little mini pancakes. I thought I'd make these for Chad because I feel so bad. I feel like I kept him up all night coughing. I'm gonna make them and put them in a little piping bag so I can get them really mini. You know, those ones on TikTok. I'm sure you guys have seen them. We decided to come to the park and take a walk and be outside in nature this morning. We did it um, earlier this week and it was really, really nice to just be able to go take a nice walk early in the morning. But we decided to bring Trooper with us today. Took a body shower and then somehow managed to salvage my hair for another day. I haven't washed it in way too long but I'm trying to do those oil treatments on it and they make my hair really freaking greasy. So I have to um, do them like the night before I'm gonna wash my hair and I forgot to do it last night. So I was like, shoot, I can't wash my hair this morning because I wanna do the oil treatment tonight. So that's the plan and I'm making a nice coffee. I wanna share with you guys what I'm working on right now. Haven't worked on this in a while, but I'm actually working on sun styled stuff and it's taken a lot of back and forth with me to figure out exactly what I want to do with Sun Styled. I know that I can't 
do shipping anymore and work on the other things that I'm working on. So I've ultimately decided to move to a drop shipping method. However, it is US based and it has a lot of the same vendors that I used to shop wholesale from anyways, but it takes away the packing and shipping portion for me. So I get to do the part that I love, which is picking out the items and organizing my website, doing the social media, <clears throat> taking pictures and like doing that kind of stuff instead of worrying about the packing and shipping. So it's just kind of a way for me to be a little bit more hands off, but get back into the swing of things. I really wanted to talk through this a little bit more. I also wanted to talk through my vision with my coaching program and everything that I'm launching soon, but I literally am about to lose my voice. I can't remember if I said this morning or not, but my doctor did call in antibiotics and an inhaler actually to help open up my airways. He said that I might have walking pneumonia. Like I figured it was just bronchitis, but because it's so much worse when I lay down, they think it's like sitting in my lungs. But yeah, my voice is like really not fun to listen to right now. So I am going to try to avoid talking. Um, I have two little PR packages that I got yesterday that I forgot to show you guys. Neogen sent this Biome Firming Cream. Sounds good in anti-aging, which I'm all about. And then Kendra Scott sent over more jewelry. They've been sending me so much PR lately and I freaking love it. I always have new jewelry to wear and ew, I can't stand the way my voice sounds right now. This is gross. Can't stop coughing though. This is so cute. Look at this for Valentine's Day. Like look oh my gosh you guys this is so cute i'll probably try out the firming cream tonight and i will let you guys know how it goes and i'll link this stuff in the description good morning guys it is the next day and last night was another really really rough night for me um i could not sleep pretty much at all i was up until 2 a.m and every time i would lay down it would feel like i was drowning I've never had that sensation before, but I think there's a lot of fluid in my lungs. But on another note, I did launch the rebrand for Sunstyle last night, which is exciting because I was up all night. So I was just like, you know what? So go check out this post with some cute little entrepreneurial shots that I did. And then I wrote a long post so you guys can check that out. I just got to the clinic, so we're going to go in there. I am so tired of my voice feeling like this. So I really, really hope that I can get better. Morning guys it's a few days later i was sick for several days and i ended up having to go and get more tests done um did confirm that i had bronchitis but i literally had to have a cat scan done because they thought i had a pulmonary embolism it was really scary but we're good no pulmonary embolism just bad bronchitis and possibly my heart also contributing to some of my side effects like just it amplifying being sick even though i tested negative for um covid and the flu I feel like I might have had COVID, but either way, I'm feeling better now. I'm making an iced coffee really quick. I got this um, Starbucks Espresso Americano, and I tried it yesterday, and it's so good. It tastes like just better than the regular coffee because it's stronger. It's like a teeny bit bitter, but I'm weird, and I like that. So I finally posted the announcement video yesterday where I like shared everything and how I plan my Google Calendar and then announce a coaching business. So I feel like I've still been a little bit weird about talking about it on this vlog because in my mind, I know you guys don't know about it yet. And I also refilmed the video because I didn't like the way it turned out and I was being super um, like, I don't know, over critical of myself. So ended up refilming it yesterday, but I finally posted it. And I'm so excited because I have a lot of consultations with you guys this week. And I'm just really, really excited about this new adventure. And if you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, then go watch the video. Yeah, so I have a consultation in an hour. I have another one tomorrow and then I have two on Friday so far. So I'm filling in the template right now with the information for this first consultation. That way I kind of have like a place to take notes and just familiarize myself with this person. I don't have a ton of information for the consult call, just their Instagram and kind of like their reasoning behind wanting to seek social media help, like their goals. Um, so it gives me a little bit of background. I just kind of want to prepare myself for the call. 
Just finished a consultation and now I am working on a LinkedIn learning course. I haven't told you guys this, but I've been trying to take more courses. I took one on Coursera and I've done a few on LinkedIn learning. This one is for TikTok and Instagram Reels marketing strategies. I will say though, sometimes I'm watching these videos and the way that they like explain things is like they're explaining it to someone who's never been on social media before. So they're like trying to explain what like a trending sound is and it's almost comical. Like I'm listening to this, I have it off to the side and I'm working at the same time while I'm going through this course because a lot of this one happens to be video stuff. Some of them are a little more hands-on but this one's mainly just video so you can kind of listen to it. But literally, like it's, it's comical the way they explain this stuff. So now that I'm actually doing the consultations, I am so excited for this. Like I just can't wait to work with you guys and to be able to one-on-one -on -one, like help you achieve your goals. Having it really heavy on the mental health aspects and social media is such a toxic place to be on and it's really easy to slip into, you know, like body dysmorphia and comparing yourself to people. Like I have structured out like the whole 12 weeks and I'm like finalizing the last few weeks, but each week we basically have um, a particular like subject and different things that we're gonna cover and I'm gonna have like a PowerPoint presentation. Um, we're also going to like discuss our highs and our lows for the week and that kind of thing. Um, and then along with that, there's going to be some sort of a like mindset development, mental health component to each one that we'll talk through and like a positive affirmation. I want to finish each one with a positive affirmation. I bought these affirmation cards. So I'm going to pull one every time we have our weekly meetings and read it so that we can all like feel it and embrace it because affirmations are freaking powerful. But like I have it all structured out now and it's like really exciting to see something that I've been working on for so, so long finally coming to life. And so many of you guys have already signed up for discovery calls, which is super exciting. Um, but if you are at all interested, the discovery call is completely free and it's just a chance for me to talk to you on the phone and find out what your goals are to see if you might be a good fit for the program. And in case any of you guys are interested in building an online presence or starting a small business and you're interested in these services, I'll leave a link in the description. Chad is playing Hogwarts Legacy. This is literally why he built his gaming PC strictly for this game and it's finally out and so he's been playing it non-stop and it's so cool looking also do you like this little piggy chad got this for me <laughs> i'm fast traveling outside of the castle so maybe i can do some spells okay i'm trying to get him to show us Lingo Lingo but this Lingo is what it looks like outside the castle like how beautiful that's cool oh wait can you turn around because look how much this looks like chad this is literally you! Okay, hold on, wait. I love that you did- Wait, well, the glasses are automatic, right? No, no, I chose them. It's so you. Did you pick that outfit? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Wait, which house are you? Uh, I chose Gryffindor. Nice. And then it gives you a suggestion as which house you would be, and it suggested I would be uh, Ravenclaw. Like, nah. You're like, nah, I'm a Gryffindor. Who's that? Is that Harry Potter? No, Harry Potter doesn't exist yet. <gasps> Hi guys, it's Valentine's Day. That's why I'm wearing this really cute pink shacket. So cute. I had to explain to Chad what a shacket was. Um, but this is really, really cute. If you guys haven't seen, did I talk about it on this vlog? I don't know. I'm like losing my mind at this point because this vlog was like spread out over several days, which wasn't intentional but you know, I was really sick. Um, so I, I don't know, I think I told you guys. But anyway, the Sun Styled rebrand happened and I have a bunch of colorful stuff on there. I just felt like I wanted to introduce color back into my life and also into the boutique. And this is one of the things that's on the site right now. It's called the High Energy Shacket. It's so cute, I love it. It's also like a really warm, comfy material. So we love that and I'm wearing slippers. A fresh afternoon cup of coffee. I was supposed to start this vlog this morning, but I had two consultations already and I have two more today. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you to everyone who's signing up for the program. You guys just watched me make a hot coffee and then now I'm sitting here with an iced coffee. I can explain. I accidentally made a pumpkin one and it's not pumpkin season anymore. I was like, I can't do this. I started smelling it. Like I wasn't paying attention because I was vlogging and I just like grabbed a pod and stuck it in there and it was a pumpkin one. I was like, I can't do pumpkin right now. Mm -mm. Iced coffee is where it's at. But 
I just got off the phone with Marley, which was one of you guys that applied for a discovery call and I am literally so excited. I just got done talking to her. She reminds me a lot of me when I first started out on YouTube, except she's already post-graduated and everything, but she's like just so excited for this and that's how I was and has so many different ideas and I just remember feeling like that. It's like exactly the kind of student that I want. So Marley, if you're watching this, I'm super excited to have you as one of the students. But now I'm just adding in my notes. I'm trying to take notes after every single discovery call so I can just kind of like know who I need to follow up with, who was interested, who might be interested, you know, just so I can like keep track of that. And then I'm still learning how to do this, but I'm trying to set up like a client tracker on ClickUp so that I can keep track of like the programs people are interested in, when their consultation date was, when I sent over a contract, have I collected payment, like, and then just keep track of like new leads when they're an active student and all of that. I put off like doing this for so long, like I was working on it, but I put off announcing it even though I've been ready like a while ago. I mean, truthfully, I probably could have launched a month ago, but I've just been like so nervous about it and so the fact that it's going so well just has me so excited. But one of my other tasks for today was to edit this very vlog so I am going to end it here. It's probably really long at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me through everything that I'm working on. I know that my life is constantly changing and I'm always working on something else and I mentioned in my other video that like I'm trying to like embrace it and not hate it as much and get frustrated with myself um, because I think life is about new experiences and how do you know if you don't try something. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.